Hello everyone, welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to calculate zonal statistics in ArcGIS. So let us see the definition for zonal statistics. Zonal statistics are statistics calculated from values of raster falling within zones defined by another raster or vector data sets. So the zonal statistics are statistics which are used for calculating the values of raster cells. So here in this case, I am having uh, two raster data. One is uh, elevation and other one is slope. So what the zonal statistics does is, it takes these raster cells of the provided data. For example, in this case, dem. So it will be taking the cell values from dem. And next, so does it take uh, all the cells? No, it doesn't take all the cells. It restricts. So you can see here the raster cells falling within zones defined by a raster or vector data sets. So here the zone is nothing but the shape file which I am provided. So it just takes the raster cell value which is falling within this shape file or it can be a raster data so it only takes that value and what we get from it we get the statistics what kind of statistics you get the mean elevation median elevation count standard deviation and sum so just example i am just giving uh, elevation it can be anything slope temperature Likewise, anything. So let us see how to open the tool. Go to Arc Toolbox. You can find Spatial Analysis Tool. Come down, you can see the option Zonal. And once again, you can see Zonal Statistics as a table. So click Zonal Statistics as a table. And now you can see the first option Input Raster or Feature Data Zone. You can input uh, raster or a vector file so this is the data sets that defines the zone so this is the data sets this is the zone inside this zone the zonal statistics will be taking the cells which is falling inside this boundary so this is my data sets that defines zone and next is zone field so here I am just having a single uh, shape file so I am just uh, leaving it to zone field zone field is nothing but the region's name so in the attribute the region's name will be there let me show you that you can have a look at this now moving to the next part input value raster so here I am going to input my dem data so you can also input your uh, dem slope uh, then uh, temperature land use any kind of raster data for calculating the statistics so you can see here the output will be given as a table and you can see the statistics type defaultly it will be all if you want to uh, perform just mean you mean or uh, measure majority maximum median you can choose any among them or if you want all you can select all and click ok to begin the process so let us wait for a few seconds so we got the results let us have a look at it so we got the result in table format let us open you can see the boundary name which has been taken b name you can see count area and minimum maximum this is nothing but we have inputted the uh, the elevation data set so we are getting the minimum elevation maximum elevation so what is the range in the elevation you can get uh, you also get the mean value of the elevation standard deviation sum variety majority minority and median so likewise you can get you can uh, combine it with this uh, shape file 
that is a simple process you just need to select the shape file the region and you can see the option join select join now here in this case the common field will be b name so b name is available in the shape file as well as it is there in the table now hit the button ok and let us have the attribute let us view the attribute table you can see here it has been successfully updated you got the information for this region you got the mean elevation you got the minimum maximum elevation for this region okay so now in order to save this file we just need to select this uh, shape file and go to the option data and export data here you can just uh, select this option and you just have to give some names for example elevation hit the button save and click ok automatically the data will be exported with the attributes otherwise the, uh, the join will not be saved if you export it the attribute will be saved so I'm now I'm just removing this file so we just have a look at the another type where we'll be having multiple files so you can see region so you can see a lot of uh, files is available within the shape file and we are going to this time we are going to do the zonal statistics for the slope so this is the slope uh, which is in degree so if you want to know how to calculate slope I have made a video on it I will be giving it in the cards please do check it out so let us calculate the zonal statistics for each region simple once again zonal statistics as a table here our input raster or featured zone data is regions you can see here these are the shape file regions so we are defining the zone for calculating the cell values so the regions which is the cells which is falling inside this uh, individual feature is some mean average everything will be calculated for it so here the zone field is a uh, b name that is nothing but the name of this administrative boundary and our input raster will be slope if you want you can save it to any particular location by use choosing this option here in the statistics type I am going to choose all and click OK to begin the process let us wait for it so we got the results let us check out how it looks like so let me open the attribute table so you can see here for each of this uh, region for each of this region you get some values for example minimum slope maximum slope uh, range of slope mean slope standard deviation and sum of slope so we get such data you can also join it with, with this uh, shape file right click on the shape file and select join join and release and hit the button join now the b name will be the common attributes for the shape file as well as for the table now hit the button ok to join this so you can have a look at this data you get the minimum slope maximum slope range mean standard deviation and sum and you can also categorize it select properties select categories so here I am going to choose the maximum value let me click on add all values so you can see here all uh, unique values will be added from each of the zones so now let me click apply and click ok 
So you can see here the blue color indicates the maximum slope of 64 and the dark color brown which represents the maximum slope of 54 degree. So likewise you can also compare uh, the data for example previously we have done the for elevation we have done the elevation. So you can just compare how the elevation and slope is and uh, and also you can do how the uh, you can compare it with land cover how the land uh, land cover is uh, varying from based on the elevation or how the temperature influences the land cover sorry the land cover in, uh, in, uh, influences influences the temperature likewise you can calculate separately you can calculate and you can combine it together and have a look at it the comparison view like that you can use so if you have any other doubts on this please do ask in the comment section thanks for watching terra special goodbye everyone